What if I told you that a single oil decision, made in under five minutes at the parts store, can be the difference between an engine that barely reaches 120,000 miles and one that quietly runs past 400,000? Same car. Same engine. Same driver. Nothing exotic. The only variable is the oil inside the crankcase. Today we're talking about three viscosities every American driver recognizes, 0W, 20, 5W, 30, and 5W, 40. And here's the part that makes people uncomfortable. The oil recommended in most owners' manuals did not deliver the best long-term protection. In real-world engine testing, one of these oils ran hotter, sheared faster, and showed measurably higher wear metals, despite being fully approved by manufacturers across the U.S. In this video, we're not repeating forum opinions or marketing slogans. We're breaking down actual engine data, oil analysis, temperature behavior, wear rates, and long-term protection. By the end, you'll know which oil truly protects your engine and which one quietly trades engine life for fuel economy. Stay until the end, because the final result surprised even seasoned mechanics who've been building engines for decades. Number 1. Why this test matters more than you think. Every oil discussion in America eventually turns into noise. Thinner oil saves fuel. Thicker oil protects better. Just follow the manual and stop overthinking it. But here's what most drivers never hear. The owner's manual isn't written to maximize engine lifespan. It's written to satisfy fuel economy regulations, emission standards, certification tests, and warranty averages. The EPA cycle, CAFE targets, and emissions compliance shape oil recommendations far more than long-term where at 200,000 miles. That doesn't make the manual wrong, but it does mean it's optimized for compliance, not longevity. Instead of arguing online, we tested it. Number 2. The engine we used, no tricks, no bias. To keep this fair and realistic for U.S. drivers, we used a modern naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. Tight factory tolerances, direct injection, typical of what you'll find in millions of sedans and crossovers on American roads. The engine was driven under identical conditions every time. Same routes, same driving style, same oil change interval, same filters, same fuel. The only thing that changed was oil viscosity. Phase 1 ran 0W, 20 full synthetic. Phase 2 ran 5W, 30 full synthetic. Phase 3 ran 5W, 40 full synthetic. Each oil stayed in service for 7,500 miles, with used oil analysis, continuous temperature logging, and internal wear inspections. No sponsorships. No marketing. Just data. Number 3. Why these three oils behave so differently. Before looking at results, you need to understand what actually changes when viscosity changes. A 0W20 is extremely thin at operating temperature. It reduces friction and improves fuel economy, typically by about half to one mile per gallon in real driving. The downside is a thinner oil film and less margin under heat and load. A 5W30 sits in the middle. It maintains stronger film strength at high temperature and has historically been the durability sweet spot for American engines. A 5W40 is the thickest at operating temperature. It offers the highest shear stability and is designed for heat, stress, and extended service. Every oil is a compromise. The real question is which compromise actually protects the engine best. Number 4, Phase 1 Results, 0W, 20, the manufacturer favorite. We'll start with what most U.S. drivers are running today. 0W, 20 did some things very well. Cold starts were excellent, internal friction was lowest, and fuel economy improved by about 0.7 miles per gallon compared to thicker oils. On paper, that looks like a win. But inside the engine, the picture changed. Average oil temperature ran 8 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit hotter. By 7,500 miles, viscosity loss reached 13%. Used oil analysis showed increased iron and aluminum wear metals. Nothing catastrophic, but clearly elevated. Internal inspection revealed early varnish formation in the valve train, faster oil darkening, and a noticeably thinner residual oil film after shutdown. 
Mechanics note, this oil works, but it works harder. There is very little room for error. Number 5. The hidden problem with 0W20. This is the part most people miss. 0W20 has the smallest safety margin. That means it's more sensitive to heat, shear, and load. In rail American driving, stop-and-go traffic, long highway commutes, summer heat, mountain grades, the oil thins faster and film strength drops sooner. It doesn't destroy engines overnight. It shortens their lifespan quietly, a little at a time. Number 6, Phase 2 Results, 5W30, The Middle Ground. Next, we switched to 5W30. Same engine, same driving cycle, same interval. The difference showed up immediately. Average oil temperature dropped between 6 and 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Viscosity loss stayed under 5%, where metals dropped by 35 to 40%, confirmed by lab analysis. Internally, bearings looked cleaner, cam lobes retained a stronger oil film, and varnish was noticeably reduced. Fuel economy only dropped about 0.3 miles per gallon compared to 0W20. In real money, that's pennies per tank. In mechanical terms, it's a major gain in protection. Number 7. Why Mechanics Quietly Favor 5W30 When we sat down with veteran technicians across the U.S., the answers were almost identical. One master tech with over 25 years in the field put it perfectly, If I want an engine to last, I don't chase thin oil. I chase stability. That sentence explains everything. 5W30 consistently showed better thermal control, stronger resistance to shear, and a more balanced wear profile over time. It wasn't designed to win fuel economy tests or satisfy regulatory spreadsheets. Its job was simple, protect metal mile after mile. Number 8, Phase 3 Results, 5W40, The Heavyweight Contender. Now we move to the oil many drivers assume is the ultimate form of protection. On paper, 5W40 looks unbeatable. Thicker oil film, higher high temperature viscosity, excellent shear resistance. And in certain conditions, it absolutely delivers. What impressed us immediately was temperature control. Oil temperatures dropped another 3 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 5W30. Viscosity loss was almost non-existent, staying under 2% after 7,500 miles. Where metals were extremely low, especially iron and copper. Under sustained load, long highway pulls, high RPM operation, and steep grades, 5W40 was rock solid. Number 9. Where 5W40 starts to work against you. Protection isn't just about thickness. It's about flow. This is where the data revealed an important trade-off. We observed slightly slower oil circulation during cold starts. There was marginally higher fuel dilution retention. Pumping resistance increased during short trip driving, especially in engines used primarily for quick commutes, light throttle, and frequent cold starts. In those conditions, the extra viscosity didn't add protection. It added drag. Mechanic insight was clear. 5W40 is outstanding when an engine is working hard, but if your daily drive is 10 minutes across town, you're never accessing its strengths. In simple terms, 5W40 is a specialist not an all-around solution. Number 10. Side-by-side -side comparison, real results. After identical use, the differences were impossible to ignore. 0W20 delivered the best fuel economy but also showed the highest wear metals and the fastest viscosity breakdown. 5W30 maintained near-ideal oil temperatures, the lowest overall wear balance, and the best everyday protection. 5W40 offered exceptional stability in extreme heat and outstanding wear control under load, but proved unnecessary for light-duty driving. And that led us to a conclusion that couldn't be dismissed. Number 11. The clear winner and why it surprised people. If this had been a track test, 5W40 might have taken the crown. If this were strictly an emissions or fuel economy test, 0W20 would win. But for real drivers, Real traffic, real heat, and real mileage, 5W30 delivered the best overall engine protection. Not the thinnest. 
not the thickest, the most balanced. That's exactly why the result caught so many people off guard. Number 12. Why 5W 30 wins in the real world. Here's why it consistently came out on top. Strong oil film without excessive drag. Stable viscosity across wide temperature ranges. Excellent wear control without cold start penalties. Minimal fuel economy loss. Cleaner internal components over time. It protected better than 0W20. It flowed better than 5W40. It didn't try to game regulations. It focused on protecting metal. Number 13. What manufacturers don't advertise. Here's a quiet reality most owners never hear. Many engines that now specify 0W20 were originally validated and durability tested with 5W30. The move to thinner oils wasn't driven by a sudden change in engine needs. It was driven by fuel economy mandates, emissions targets, and regulatory pressure. That's why the same engine may call for 0W20 in the United States, but 5W30 or even 5W40 in other markets. Different priorities. Same hardware. Number 14. So what oil should you actually use? Here's the practical breakdown. No hype. Use 0W20 if you live in a cold climate, drive short trips, prioritize fuel economy, and change oil frequently. Use 5W30 if you want maximum engine life, drive a mix of city and highway, live in moderate to hot climates, and plan to keep the vehicle long term. Use 5W40 if you tow, track the car, drive aggressively, live in extreme heat, or operate a turbocharged or consistently high load engine. This isn't about right or wrong oil. It's about matching oil to reality. Number 15. The Off-the-Record Mechanic Truth When we asked experienced technicians what they personally run in their own vehicles, the answers were telling. Not one said, whatever the manual says. Most admitted to using 5W30 for daily drivers and 5W40 for performance or high heat applications. Almost none chose 0W20 unless it was absolutely required. One technician summed it up perfectly, fuel economy numbers sell cars, engine longevity sells repairs. I know which one I want. Final takeaway. Your engine doesn't care about regulations. It cares about oil film strength, heat control, and long-term stability. In our test, 0W20 worked, but wore faster. 5W40 protected exceptionally well, but wasn't always necessary. 5W30 quietly did everything right. That's why it won. Now tell us, what oil are you running right now, and why did you choose it? Because the biggest engine mistake isn't using the wrong oil. It's never questioning whether the recommended one is truly the best for your engine.